Well, welcome back. Um, this video is going to cover installing the uh, front cover and the uh, oil pump. So, both need to be cleaned up. And the oil pump I've checked, it's in good shape, but the front cover for the oil pump is broken. <clears throat> so, I should say the oil. So here's the oil pump casing, and it's broken on the bottom here. That's not a big break, but I've got another housing, so we'll use that. And then there's the the front cover. And here's the housing. Another scrap piece. But it's... Uh, I'll put it in the uh, parts washer and wash it up nice. And then, <clears throat> mind the mess, here's the, the pump. So the pump's in good shape. There's no um, water damage on that. So we're going to go ahead and use that. I'll bring it back when I've got uh, the cover. Well, we've got the upper cover cleaned up, we've got the uh, gasket surface all nice and clean, removed the old um, seals, so we're going to put the new seals in and uh, install the cover. That's it. So now we'll put that on the engine. And these are the, uh, the collars we'll put on later.
All right, that's the upper cover done. So now I'll assemble the um, the lower cover with the oil pump, and then uh, install that. So there's that stamp I was talking about. Uh, Cullen. Hopefully you can see that Cullen Detroit Diesel, 1993. I mentioned earlier I was going to use a different cover, but I changed my mind because I realized that the bottom engine mounts bolt up to this and that that fracture in the bottom case is not going to be a problem. So rather than spending a long time cleaning up that other housing, I just washed this one. Check the pressure um, reliefs on it. There's little pistons in here. In here, I just pull. Yeah, so pull those out. Make sure they're free. Because, like I said, this engine sat outside for years, and I just want to make sure there's no water damage on those or this pump. So, but fortunately, it's all good. So it can be reused. So 17 foot-pounds for the oil pump. That's it. So now we'll go install this on the engine. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll make something out of aluminum. I don't know, but that works pretty good. Cool. So there's the seal. The seal sleeve. All pretty. So now we'll put the lower uh, cover on. Well, I don't know if I got any of that, guys. The camera started to do some really erratic things. Anyway, we just tapped it down with a soft hammer until it, it's uh, seated, and now we'll, we'll bolt it up. I think these are 35. So I'll go double check on that.
Alright, that's 35 foot pounds. So there you have it guys, that's the seal install front uh, lower and upper cover and uh, it works great. So next is the liner install. So we'll put those liners in, should be a lot of fun. Again thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for the next install which is the liners. Thanks a lot and